Hello and welcome to yet another brand new edition of The Pulse, the show where we talk about issues concerning us. In today's internet savvy world, online shopping has become quite popular among people worldwide. Apart from the ease and comfort, it gives us a wide range of products to choose from at heavy discounts and delivery at our doorstep. And this is because of these reasons that the e-commerce industry today has seen tremendous growth in the last few years. Especially in India, the e-commerce sector has grown exponentially, becoming the fastest growing sector today. It is expected to reach over $200 billion by the year 2026. But at the same time, it has also led to a different kind of fraud system as well, one among them being the surge in fake goods on the e-commerce websites. Even the largest e-commerce platforms like Amazon, eBay and Walmart are experiencing a significant increase in the volume of unsafe, banned and counterfeit products sold under their brands by third-party sellers. In fact, various surveys have shown that one-third of e-commerce customers are getting fake products today. According to the 2018 Global Brand Counterfeiting Report, the amount of total counterfeiting globally reached 1.2 trillion US dollars in the year 2017, that's two years ago, and is anticipated to reach 1.82 trillion dollars by the year 2020, that's next year. As per the losses suffered due to online counterfeiting globally, the report says it amounted to 323 billion US dollars in the year 2017. Luxury brands in particular have been hit the hardest with losses of more than 30 billion US dollars specifically from online counterfeit sales. So this week on The Pulse, we discuss the growing problem of fake goods online and how can we tackle this scourge of counterfeit products. We'll also try and understand from the experts who are joining us in the studio today, various ways to prevent ourselves from being cheated while shopping online. Joining me in the studio for a discussion today are Dr. H.P. Kumar, former Chairman and Managing Director, NSIC, Government of India. Next to him is uh, Mr. Sriram Khadna. He is Managing Editor, Consumer Voice. Dr. P. N. Tiwari, he is Member Judge, Consumer Court, Delhi. And we also have with us Mr. Ankit Gupta. He is Advocate, E-Commerce, Consumer Affairs. I welcome all of you on this edition of The Pulse. And in addition, we also have in the audience a group of people from various walks of life who will share with us their experiences about fake products, if they've been duped online while shopping. And besides, they'll also be asking questions to our experts as to how do we prevent ourselves from being cheated while shopping online. I welcome all of you on the program as well. Uh, Dr. H.P. Kumar, let me begin the program today with you. Considering the trend that's picked up globally, all of us, especially the younger generation, it gives us a lot of ease and comfort to shop online from the various websites that are available at the, you know, on our mobile phones. But looking at the numbers of fake counterfeit products that are available, how grave is the problem in our country? Well, I would say that the problem is getting grave, you know, day by day. Uh, people have not realized until now that how many products that what they are buying, how much of them is fake because it's very difficult to make out from the appearance of the product mm. that whether it is fake or a genuine product. Most of the time it's only after the use that one comes to know that it's a fake product. Yes. Now the problem arises is first of all how to identify whether it's a fake product or not. And second thing, after, if, even if you identify in the beginning itself, the problem of return and getting your money back, that also is not so easy and it's a bit complicated. The bigger, bigger issue is that once you use the product, start using the product on the belief that you are buying a genuine product and after the use you suffer some harm in terms of physical harm, in terms of you know, harm to your health, harm to the children particularly in term, you know, for, for the toys that you are buying or some similar kind of you know products which have sensitivities like cosmetics which are you know which create health hazards now the issue is that what are the mechanisms as as uh, you know how do you first of all prevent this the problem is of course a big problem nobody can deny that because as you rightly mentioned in the beginning itself that from the data this amount and the percentage has been rising day after mm. day and more and more people, you know, taking advantage of this uh, ignorance that is, uh, you know, particularly 
uh, with Indian consumers because in the euphoria and enthusiasm to buy online because more and more people are getting added to the online purchases and most of them are first time buyers, second time buyers. Mm. So in that process, the number of fakes also is increasing as you mentioned. Now how to prevent it first of all and then if you suffer any damage or harm, what is the way that you can be compensated? These are all the issues which, uh, you know, need to be addressed. Mm. Now, uh, first of all, how do you identify? That is the first stage. Or even before you identify, I would say why the fake products should enter the marketplace. Yes. That is the first stage where the marketplace should be able to check and prevent entry of the fake products. And for that, uh, I think the best way is to use the technology. Mm. In terms of, uh, you know, recognition of particular features of the product and the qualities which are specifically to be built in the products, which are identifiable through microscopic technological, uh, you know, viewing. Okay. Recognition. Okay. So, we'll talk about the solutions in, in a little later in the program. Let me come to uh, Mr. Khanna. Sir, what Mr. Kumar pointed out is the basic problem is a lot of us wouldn't know that we've been duped of a fake product at the cost of an original one. So, once you've recognized, once you've identified that, you know, the product that you're using is a fake one, what should the consumers do? Precisely because a lot of us do not know what the next step should be. I think uh, this is an issue with which every individual should be familiar. <coughs> you order something, whatever you order, you should keep a copy of the page of the e-commerce site on which you ordered. Take a screenshot and keep it in your phone. So that tomorrow, it will be easy to prove that I bought this thing and this is coming. When it arrives, you should do the other thing. When the delivery man is delivering to you, ask him to open it in front of you. And while he is opening it, take another picture on your phone. That is the second proof hmm. that this thing came out of the box. Because many times these people say, this is Thai news, this is something else, this is something else, this is So, uh, by, you protect yourself by taking these two pictures. Of course, you have the invoice, etc. Once you start using the product, if you find something is wrong, when it is fake, it shows up in one way or the other. The technical sophistication of a fake product is not so much that it's exactly like the, the actual one. It is not. Many a times it is possible to make out. Even by a layman can make it out. Or if a layman can't make it out, it's best to show it to someone else who understands it better and he can guide you. And if there is something that requires testing, if it's a food product, for example, then you can give it for testing in a lab and under the food safety authority rules, whatever fees you are charged is refunded if it is actually fake. So what I'm saying is, you have to have evidence to show that it is fake. Hmm. Either it is an oral evidence of an expert or yourself. And then one of the things you should do is, you should contact the actual brand owner. Because they are used to dealing with their own fake products on a daily basis. Hmm. Because who is going to be copied? Only the successful products are being copied. Those products which, whose prices are higher and have a higher margin is being copied. Because somebody wants to make money on the hard work of someone else. That is why it is being copied. That is why it is fake. That is why it is counterfeit. So once you have some evidence, oral evidence or or uh, graphic evidence or uh, evidence of by your own use, you can say it is fake. Then the case is made out for going to the website from where you bought it. And they have a toll free number or a complaint, make a complaint saying that I, I bought this, attach the picture. I, I, I got this, attach the picture and this is why it is fake. I want my money back or I want the genuine product sent to my home. This is what you can do mm -hmm. under the existing situation. And the Consumer Protection Act. It protects you in the same way as it protects anybody buying a fake product from any shop. So there is no difference. He is a seller. The only difference is he is online. Hmm. And the man who is selling you offline, if he is selling a fake product, whatever rights you have against him, you have against the seller and the website as well. So when you, and of course, uh, if the website does not listen to you, then you have other means, which I am sure these gentlemen who are sitting here, who are legal experts, will tell you. Yes. Okay, Ankit Gupta, as Mr. Khanna pointed out, I think the problem aggravated when these websites started promoting third-party sellers because they started behaving as if they are only the facilitators. It's between the buyer and the seller. And that's where the problem, I think, aggravated further in recent years specifically. 
what are the guidelines as per which law are these e-com uh, re retailers governed in India? And where sir says that the websites must be held accountable. So in cases where the third party seller is at fault, <coughs> what must the consumers do? Exactly. Is the law point that we have consumer protection in 1986 in the play, which is the old law, which is outdated law right now. There are new law, which is consumer protection in 2019. Hmm. It is yet to be notified, although it is an act right now. That act completely and specifically deals about the provision regarding the aggregators or the facilitators. Fastening of the liability to the aggregator and the facilitator, so called. Till now, the question is that only the wholesaler or the retailer or the dealer or the manufacturer is held liable. Mm. And they were treated as an aggregator to the product. But now with the passage of this law, 2019, now the aggregator per se can be held liable for this. So yes, there are provisions. Once the act is notified, then definitely they will owe a liability to it. They have to make sure that the person who are selling on their portals has to have that kind of quality maintenance with them. They will have the product liability and indeed the aggregator can also be made liable in this. Okay, okay. Sir, because you deal with a lot of cases, although very few cases reach the court stage in India, I believe, because due to lack of awareness, also because of the high cost factor, what are the kind of cases that you deal with and what, what about the compensation bit? How much of a compensation do the consumers get in case they are duped of a fake product? Uh, if you could explain to us what happens in consumer courts. See, as far as the e-commerce business is concerned, why it has been introduced? Because everybody want, uh, wants this uh, time-consuming factor and money also. Hmm. So from either from their workplace or from their uh, residence, they order. But here the main thing is, before putting any order on online portals, you must see their refund policies, what are their terms and conditions. And besides that, you will find everything their terms and condition clearly defines the who would be the seller, who would be the distributors. And what we see in court, the cases comes, sir, we only know the online portal. Up to this old act till we are dealing, here online portals are almost uh, left as they are free. Only the person who delivers the goods, they are held liable because their addresses are there in invoices. But as the new act is coming, here all three would be liable. Okay. That is the online portal, hmm. the, the person who is delivering your goods or the person who is providing the services. Mm -hmm. And secondly, Foremost thing is that you must prove your case with the evidences that this is the fake case or these are the terms and conditions which are not matching or any deficiency on part of either of the three. Among the consumers, the grievance is that when you go to the courts, the big firms usually get away with a very, you know, a paltry fine, which is not enough. On the consumer's part, the, the amount of running around that they have to do from pillar to post, even after the judgment you know, comes, it is not in their favor or it's quite minimal, which they're not satisfied with. And then they are left to go to higher courts. And this cycle goes on. And we know the condition of courts in our country. Will the new act change any of this? Will it be consumer friendly? See, in every complaint, there is a word pecuniary jurisdiction. And before that is territorial jurisdiction. What is the territory, territory of my court under which your case can be admitted? Then what damages you are claiming? That should be within the pecuniary jurisdiction. For example, as on today, it is 20 lakh. Okay. Tomorrow, it, it will be 1 crore. But it doesn't mean that you, your compensation will run. 1 crore against the product of 10,000 or 25,000. Mm -hmm. So in the new act, it will be only product value, not the total pecuniary jurisdiction. And accordingly, whatever compensation you are asking in the complaint, our jurisdiction is only limited to the complaint, not beyond that. So mm -hmm. we cannot go beyond our complaint. 
so whether it pertains to dam proving damages giving compensation it all amounts up to the complaint limit whatever has been instituted before us okay okay so now uh, after having taken opinions from all our panelists let me go to the audience <coughs> and understand how this problem is mounting today so we'll get first hand experiences from audience members uh hi my name is ilana and uh, i got shoes from reebok on amazon and uh, to be honest i really didn't know if it was fake but i returned them because that wasn't the quality that i expected from reebok so now um, there are two problems with this one i can't identify if it is fake and two if i assume that it is actually uh, the real product it is damaging reebok's brand uh, image so uh, my I, i actually have a question for uh, mr kumar uh one how do you identify if a product is fake if it is an exact imitation and two uh you talked about using technology so what is the scope of using technology to identify these fake products in india the issue as to how you identify a product whether it is fake or genuine that's is, perhaps the biggest challenge is the real challenge today, basically yes. is the first stage where you you know come across the problem hmm. now identifying the product from the you know appearance of the product sometimes becomes difficult because uh, the people who are making these uh, fake products are also becoming smarter day by day and they are virtually copying the you know genuine especially products especially for first time buyers maybe yeah. you know she is used to she's used that product she knows it she understood uh, from the appearance that it's fake for people who are first time buyers absolutely so whatever efforts you put in on the you know consumer it is very difficult for him to you really identify those products so the onus of you know ensuring that the fake product does not reach the consumer first of all lies with the marketplace i mean besides the manufacturer who is you know doing a you know like kind, kind of a cheating hmm. so marketplace also is equally responsible as the new law is coming now marketplace should be able to use the technology because technology cannot be used individually at the consumer level I, i mean sitting at home i do not have those equipments to identify whether it is a new product and the kind of technology which should be required is basically the microscopic uh, you know cameras which are able to check like the logo now the original product will have a logo which which will have something extra or something missing these things cannot be copied by the you know uh, makers of the fake products because But they are, the, they are not visible shouldn't the companies be doing it sir why leave it to the consumer no the no con consumer will not be able to do this mm -hmm. so the marketplace owner which is the aggregator which has wherewithals and all these resources when they are co contracting with the suppliers mm -hmm. or you know those products suppliers they should be able to enter into an arrangement and ask them to supply the technology the original manufacturers okay, okay. and that technology should be Uh, applied to identify and screen each and every product which is coming on the marketplace and supplied what i would advise you madam not to wait till the suggestion is implemented because you could be waiting endlessly what will happen in the marketplace depends on many things it may happen and the the person may, may give an assurance to the reseller that i will put only genuine products and he may, may still put a fake one so in spite of an arrangement it can still happen so mm -hmm. i will give you a simple solution it's a big challenge but i have, i will give you a simple solution take the shoe to a reebok showroom and say i bought it but it doesn't look good something is wrong can you repair it for me the moment you say repair they will show it to their expert who is in the showroom and he'll come back and madam ye to hamara hai nahi bola please write it and give it to me let us slip that this shoe is not manufactured by reebok that's enough you don't have to go to any technology all you have to do is go to the original brand owner his retail store his wholesale store his brand store and and get get proof because if he says it is not ours that is the best proof you will have in any court of law in any dispute wanted to make yeah, a point actually, and the another question which you raised was that you have two options first there is also always a consumer feedback email id written on a product wherein you can mark a uh, email to them second usually the branded products have a serial number or a batch number associated to them what uh, khanna ji said is i think this is not very practically feasible because when you go to any authorized showroom and tell them to write they will definitely not write so in case that you can shoot a email to that company and ask them to 
identify whether the batch number uh, is of their own product or not. That will suffice your purpose as a evidence to be proven in a court of law. Mm. Moreover, when you come across any kind of product, there is a return policy. Usually, we have 15 days return policy, which the big websites uh, uh, provides us. So, you can always take advantage of that. Subsequently, if you develop that this product is not a real product or a, not a general product, then definitely you can approach the company directly and get them uh, write a mail and so that you can prove your claim that this is actually not a genuine product. Okay. That okay. can help. Okay. Anybody else? My question is from Khanna Ji. As you said, we have heard that the product will take a screenshot of it and before the delivery, take a screenshot of it. Sir, आम आदमी जब एक प्रोडक्ट लेता है तो उसके संदर्भ में ये बात आती ही नहीं है बिल्कुल ही नहीं आती है। और सर स्क्रीनशॉट लेने से उसकी लायबिलिटी तो नहीं होती ना क्योंकि मैं अगर किसी चीज का स्क्रीनशॉट ले रहा हूं और मैं उस स्टफ को मैं देख ही नहीं रहा हूं तो मैं क्या उस पर क्लेम कर सकता हूँ क्या स्क्रीन लेना ही अपने आप में एक क्लेम करना लायक है सर अल्टीमेटली अगर वो प्रोडक्ट फेक है तो आपको प्रूव करना पड़ेगा कि ये प्रोडक्ट उस डब्बे में आया है जो इस कंपनी ने मुझे डिलीवर किया है वो कल मुकर जाएंगे तो ये प्रोडक्ट हमारे डब्बे से निकला ही नहीं तो फिर क्या करोगे आप ओ जैसी बहुत सारी वेबसाइट है जो पुरानी चीजों को बेचती है और उसके अलावा रीसेलिंग भी वेबसाइट बहुत सारी है लेकिन ओ एल एक्स जिसपे पुरानी चीजें बेची जाती है उस पर बहुत सारे लोग होते हैं कि धोखाधड़ी के शिकार होते हैं इस स्थिति में उनको क्या करना चाहिए क्योंकि जो चीज वो खरीद रहे हो पहले से ही सेकेंड हैंड है So last year I bought uh, one uh, on the Bali. I bought one dress from a particular website, and the picture which was depicted, it was the the product which I re received, which was, that was completely opposite. So my question is that everybody is not in that state, on that like a layman person will not go to the court for that purpose, like. Me also, I did not went to any court or something. And when I asked that particular website to return the product, they simply rejected that we are not refunding and we are not. Doing, they did not even exchange the product. So my question is whether there should not be any guidelines to the customers to like not like they are not even able to go to the court. Then where sh they should go for that purpose? See, not to the courts. Then where? That's what all our panelists have also been suggesting that when you buy a product, as consumers, we must also be aware of what we are getting into. So but that's when Sir says, read carefully the return policy, go through it carefully. It was completely written over there that it is 100% refundable. Look, if it's not doing it from love, then I will not give you advice that go to the house. Because if you go to the house, it will take 4-5 years and it will come and come. The decision will come and come. The decision will come and come and come and come. The decision will come and come and come and come and come. और इसको तीन हजार रुपए दे दी जाए इसके खर्चे के और तब तक आपके कम से कम दस पंद्रह हजार रुपए खर्च हो जाएंगे मेरा सवाल है कि अगर हम कोर्ट्स नहीं जाएं तो फिर कहां जाएं उस कंप्लेन को लेकर कौन तो उसका तरीका यह है कि अपने अपने सोशल मीडिया पे उस वेबसाइट की इतनी तारीफ करिए अपने पच्चीस दोस्तों के साथ कि सबको पता लग जाए कि यह वेबसाइट क्या कर रही है और वो इतना तंग हो जाए कि आपके घर आके बोलो माफी होगी आप ये लोग ड्रेस और हमें माफ करो वट माई सजेशन वुड बी विद इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द न्यू लॉ What they also propose is setting up of a consumer fora. There will be a helpline, there will be a consumer fora where you can register your complaint. See, if you are placing an order, at least see the credentials of the vendor, the supplier. It was very well, I think the everybody feedback. knows about it. Yeah. And the return policy, because otherwise, you know, you are going to land into a situation where you said that you probably faced. It's difficult to monitor. There are 20 million such websites uh, operating across the world. Our consumer association has such a person. We say that we will become our member first. And then we will draft it from our legal desk and legal notice. Our duty is to reach it. So it will be stuck. This is a problem. And they will be ready to negotiate. So it is another way. That in your area, 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 if there is a consumer association, उसके साथ मिल जाइए उसके मेंबर बन जाइए ताकि उसके माध्यम से सब मिलके कंज्यूमर्स की एकता दिखा के कंपनियों को शिकायत करें ताकि उनको लगे कि इनकी बात सुननी पड़ेगी देखिए आपने वो कहानी सुनी हुई है किसान और उसका बेटा कि जब उसने कहा एक एक ये तिनका इसको तोड़ो उसने कहा सारे बांधो इकट्ठा और तोड़ो नहीं टूटेगा एकता में बल है तो कंज्यूमर एसोसिएशन का भी जो कानूनी जामा है कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट में है अपने इलाके में कंज्यूमर एसोसिएशन के साथ जुड़ जाइए और देखो बहुत इलाकों में कम है ऐसी एसोसिएशन इतना काम आसान नहीं है हमारी एसोसिएशन कंज्यूमर वॉइस उन्नीस से अब तक चल रही है और हमें भी कई बार मुश्किल हो जाती है कि हमारे पास भी इतने साधन नहीं है कि सबकी शिकायतों को लेके हम जाएं 
क्योंकि इसमें लगता है पैसा और समय आप एक वकील को हायर करेंगे तो अंकित गुप्ता जी बताएंगे आपको कि वो वकील महीने की तनख्वाह लेगा आने जाने का खर्चा लेगा तो उसके लिए अगर एक कंज्यूमर को बोले कि भैया तुम इसके दो घंटे का ड्राफ्टिंग का पैसा दे दो तो वो इक्कीस सौ रुपए का जो खरीदार है वो कहता है जी इक्कीस सौ तो गए और ये छह सौ रुपए और जा रहे हैं मैं नहीं करता नाइन आउट ऑफ टेन लोग भाग जाते हैं शिकायत करने से इट्स लाइक पीनट्स मिस्टर डॉक्टर तिवारी क्योंकि बहुत ज्यादा कोर्ट्स और इन सब की बात हो रही है वट आर योर लिमिटेशन क्योंकि अगर मान लीजिए कोई कंज्यूमर अगर ये बेड़ा उठा भी ले कि नहीं मैं आई विल टेक दिस केस टू दी एंड टू अ लॉजिकल एंड एंड पर हैप्स वेटिंग जस्टिस फ्रॉम द कोर्ट पर कॉम्पनसेशन इतना कम होता है देखिए इस एक्ट में आपको दो चीजें प्रूव करनी एक तो डेफिशंसी जैसे आपने कहा कि पेमेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट रिफंडेबल था रिफंड भी कर दिया पैसे नहीं दिए उन्होंने ये डेफिशंसी ऑफ सर्विसेस आ गई अपोजिट पार्टी की इस केस के लिए आपके पास दो ऑप्शन है या तो आप मेरे पास आए ठीक है और गवर्नमेंट के मेडिशन सेल्स चल रहे हैं जहां कोई खर्चा नहीं है कोई टाइम वेस्टेज नहीं है आप उनके पास जाए हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट में मेडिसिन सेल्स हैं और वो टाइमली और इफेक्टिवली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट आपका ये निपटारा करेंगे लेकिन हाँ ये जरूर है एक दिन दो दिन में कुछ नहीं होना है कहीं किसी से लड़ाई लड़के भी आपको कुछ नहीं मिल रहा है अल्टीमेटली आपको अपना केस प्रूव करना होगा चाहे वो मेडिसिन सेल है चाहे हमारे पास है हमारे पास कैसे आएंगे सिंपली आप कहे साहब ये जेन्यून है ये फेक है हम नहीं मानेंगे बिल्कुल नहीं मानेंगे क्यों हमें आपका एविडेंस चाहिए और एविडेंस क्या है कोई भी प्रोडक्ट आप खरीदे चाहे वो फास्ट मूविंग कंज्यूमर गुड्स कुछ भी है राइट फॉर मोबाइल टू एनीथिंग और सर्विसेज है उनका डिफिशंसी प्रूव करने के लिए उनके सबके एक सर्विस अथराइज सर्विस सेंटर्स होते हैं अगर रिफंड नहीं कर रहा है प्रोडक्ट आपके पास है वो दूसरी बात है कि आप कैश ऑन डिलीवरी देकर के पेमेंट लेके बाद में देखा सब ये तो हमने एप्पल का मंगाया था और नोकिया दे दिया ठीक है ऑर्डर में सब कुछ लिखा होगा तो ये कहाँ से प्रूव करेंगे कि आपने वाकई में 3G मंगाया 4G मिला 4G जी अपोजिट कुछ भी मिला उनकी जो ऑथराइज सर्विस सेंटर्स हैं आप वहाँ का लेटर वो कहेंगे नहीं साहब जैसे शमा जी ने बोला कि साहब ये मेरे का नहीं है लेकिन ये कोई भी रिटेलर कोई भी शोरूम वाला लिख के नहीं देगा ठीक है वो पार्टी नहीं बनना चाहेंगे इसके लिए अथराइज सर्विस सेंटर जाइए वो अपने आप प्रूव कर देंगे साहब हमने आपका प्रोडक्ट रिटर्न कर दिया वाई इट इज अ फेक प्रोडक्ट और इट हैज अ डिफिशंसी जो भी है शॉर्टकमिंग है कुछ भी है उसमें लिख के देंगे एंड दैट एविडेंस इज सफिशियंट बिफोर अस टू प्रूव है निग्लिजेंसी एंड डैमेजेस फॉर यू Okay, तो sir. इसमें यही आ गया कि आपको अपना केस दोनों लेवल पे पहले प्रूव ही करना पड़ेगा hmm. तभी आप जाएंगे और टाइम इफेक्टिव वाली बात है मेडिशन है जहां आप जा सकते हैं हमारे पास तो एक सेट प्रोसेस है हम उसी में चलेंगे जितना कंप्लेंट में लिख के आएगा हम उतने ही पर कंसेंट करेंगे हम ये नहीं है कि आपने पांच का प्रोडक्ट लिए बीस कंपनसेशन मांगा मान लिया आप पांच साल मेरे पास लग गए तो आप उसके लिए मैं आपको पचास हजार दे दूं आपको एक रुपया मैं एक्स्ट्रा नहीं दूंगा क्योंकि हमारे ऑर्डर्स फाइनल नहीं होते हैं सो बट देखिए एक तो टाइम कितना लगता है यूजुअली आप इस तरह के केसेस टाइम का ये है देखिए दूसरा time, ये कि कई बार ऐसा होता है दैट यू नो द प्राइस में बी वेरी लेस बट द डेंजर्स ऑफ दैट काउंट फीट प्रोडक्ट मस्ट बी लाइक लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग जैसा सर भी कह रहे थे अभी मिस्टर खन्ना तो ऐसे केसेस में क्या कोर्ट स्टेप अप करके विल शुड नॉट कम कम अप विद वर्डिक विच इज अगेन 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 ये सारी चीजें जिस समय आप कंप्लेंट बनाएंगे आपको लिखनी पड़ेंगी बाद में ये नहीं है कि आपकी जो हमारे सामने तीन स्टेज मेन मेन पार हो गई उसके बाद आगे सर ये एक एडिशनल एविडेंस रह गया ये मैंने इम्प्लीट नहीं किया वो नहीं हो पाएगा ठीक है कई जो हमारे स्टेजेस हैं वो आपको फॉलो करने पड़ेंगे तभी जा करके आप अपना केस स्ट्रॉन्ग कर पाएंगे और रह गई इसकी बात है कि कंपनसेशन की बात है कंपनसेशन हम उसी हिसाब से देंगे जो आप लास्ट में अपनी प्रेयर में तीन चार पांच पॉइंट लिखेंगे उसी के हिसाब से कंप्लेन फाइल करने से पहले ड्राफ्ट करने से पहले एक ऐसे व्यक्ति से सलाह कर लीजिए जो इसमें एक्सपर्ट हो और सारी कहानी प्लीडिंग्स में डाल दे ताकि कल आपको अगर सक्सेसफुल होना है तो सारे इंग्रेडिएंट उसके अंदर होने चाहिए बाद में आप एक पैरा एड नहीं कर पाओगे माई नेम इज कुशल आई एम फ्रॉम लॉ फैकल्टी डेली यूनिवर्सिटी माई क्वेश्चन इज 
section 79 of the it act 2008 provide for the intermediaries and in in that act uh, it's talk about the safe harbor to the intermediaries okay so the products which are sold online mainly i'm talking about the products for the uh, ladies and uh, ch child like diaper whisper and all so they can you know if product is fake so they can create the health issue for the baby and uh, for the ladies so whether intermediaries are liable and whether they can take the uh, section 79 of the it act you know safe harbor so what are the legal remedy which are available to the uh, consumers okay theek hai ankit gupta i'll bring that question to you aap aage boliye mere sath ek practical hua hai maine ek matlab flipkart se ek bottle mangwaya tha 300 ka aur maine fir jab usko first day use kiya to wo usme leak tha to maine socha ki mujhe pata hi nahi chala ki wo leak hai फिर 10 दिन के बाद चूंकि उसका जो रिटर्न पॉलिसी था वो मात्र 15 दिन का था तो एक बार रिटर्न पॉलिसी खत्म 15 दिन खत्म हो गया उसके बाद तो मुझे रिटर्न मिलना नहीं उधर से अब आप मुझे ये बताओ कि मैं तीन सौ का एक बॉटल मंगवाया अब मैं उसके लिए कहाँ से अब वो वो क्वालिटी क्या है वो गुजरात से होके आया है जहाँ मतलब वेबसाइट में दिखाते हैं अब मैं किस फ़ोन करूँ क्या करूँ मैंने फाइनली उस बॉटल को फेंक दिया है और अब मैंने दूसरा बॉटल जाके मार्केट से खरीद लिया है तो अब मेरे लिए तो अब फ्लिपकार्ट को यूज करना या ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म को यूज करना मेरे लिए तो बहुत मुश्किल है मैं तो यकीन ही नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ एक्सपीरियंसिस बहुत लोगों के हुए अंकित गुप्ता द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू दिस गाइड द क्वेश्चन दैट यू हैव बॉट इन अ बॉटल एंड नोइंग द फैक्ट दैट इट वॉज रिटर्न की देर इज अ रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ टेन डेज एंड यू हैव नॉट यूज इन टेन डेज इज वॉयलेशन ऑफ पॉलिसी विच इज नोन एज केवियट एमटर बायर हैज टू बी बिवेयर यू वर टू बी बिवेयर दैट इट हैज टू बी specifically mentioned for a defect within 10 days first you are wrong on that point second if you have used it on the 15th day your first day starts from that 15th day it is 15 to 25 then but the only thing that you have to prove is that you used it on the 15th day right so in that case you can get your claim redressed by and now the question is where you go as far as the new act is concerned you can go to the aggregator all their informations are available on the net and more one very important thing i want to bring you to notice is that you name the uh, you have the name of snap deal you have amazon these are actually private limited companies you go to the website of mca you go in their click services and you see that sin number corporate identity number of that company and there you have a registered address of that company the company which is providing the registered address is bound to receive your post on that address you send a letter or a notice to that address it is a deemed service under the law first thing second is that for a redressal of a complaint again there is a customer support they have ivrs facilities they have whatsapp now these days that their service center are going on whatsapp they have email facilities they have live communication facilities so it is not the case that now you cannot get your claim addressed so for a complaint you can go to that forums first in case you do not get a redressal there then definitely you have to come to consumer forums and you have to take these kind of actions now the second question raised by my friend is section 79 harboring that harboring is in good faith actually when there is a harbor in good faith yes you have a protection both under the civil and the criminal law if it is not in good faith then no sort of harboring can take you the benefit of being liable hmm. so aggregators under the new law also are liable they are intermediaries they are facilitators but they are liable 101% Which they cannot they take under the, the wheel of that section 79 of the evidence act which are talking okay. or the it act ओके okay. कुछ ऐसे वेबसाइट्स हैं जो या फिर कई ऐसे प्लेटफॉर्म हैं जहां वो अपना ही प्रोडक्ट सेल करते हैं टेली मार्केटिंग कंपनी जैसे होम शॉप एटीन फ्लिपकार्ट है फ्लिपकार्ट स्मार्ट बाई प्रोडक्ट सेल करते हैं ऐसी स्थिति में वे लोग फेक प्रोडक्ट देते हैं कहते हैं हमने सारी टेस्टिंग की है टीवी में दिखाते हैं कि हमने सारी टेस्टिंग की है फिर उस प्रोडक्ट को वो बेचते हैं और उनका ऑफिस ने हो सकता है दिल्ली में हो और कोई जो शॉपिंग कर रहा है वो नॉर्थ ईस्ट से हो साउथ से हो वैसी स्थिति में उन लोगों को क्या करना चाहिए दूसरी चीज़ है कि कई ऐसे फेक वेबसाइट्स हैं जैसे फ्लिपकार्ट ने फ्लैश सेल चलाया हमने फ्लैश डॉट फ्लिपकार्ट डॉट कॉम बना लिया और उसके बाद हम प्रोडक्ट बेच रहे हैं या फिर क्लब फैक्ट्री ने भी बेचा जो केसेज आए आ, आ, क्लब फैक्ट्री का टाइटन की घड़ी डुप्लीकेट बेची और सारे केसे तो ये लोग फेक प्रोडक्ट बेचते हैं तो जब हमारी गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट के लिए भी लाइबिलिटी है कि उसके नागरिकों को सही प्रोडक्ट मिले 
तो हमारी गवर्नमेंट ऐसे वेबसाइट्स को क्यों नहीं बैन करती या ऐसे प्रोडक्ट्स को क्यों नहीं बैन करती या उस पर स्टेप्स क्यों नहीं लिए जाते हैं जब एक छोटा पोस्ट जो वायलेंट वायलेंस करता है या कोई डिफेमेटरी पोस्ट होता है उसको बंद कर दिया जाता है गवर्नमेंट के द्वारा तो ऐसी स्थिति में गवर्नमेंट की भी लाइबिलिटी है कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन इन सब की भी लाइबिलिटी है तो ये लोग क्यों नहीं स्टेप ठीक है डॉक्टर कुमार ये समस्या तो देखिए बड़ी वाइड स्प्रेड है जैसे कि हम लोग डिस्कस कर रहे हैं तो अब नए एक्ट में ये प्रोविजन है कि हम मार्केट प्लेस को भी उतनी ही जिम्मेदारी देंगे जितनी कि वो मैन्युफैक्चरर की है और इसमें पनिशेबल प्रोविजन्स हैं चाइना में ऑलरेडी हैं यूएस में ऑलरेडी हैं इंडिया में भी आने जा रहे हैं तो मार्केट प्लेस जब अकाउंटेबल होगा और हर एक प्रोडक्ट के लिए देखिए मार्केट मार्केट प्लेस को बंद नहीं किया जा सकता क्योंकि वहाँ पर लाखों प्रोडक्ट्स और भी हैं एक प्रोडक्ट की वजह से आप मार्केट प्लेस को नहीं बंद कर सकते मार्केट प्लेस को आप ठीक कर सकते हैं पनिश कर सकते हैं उसको फाइन लगा सकते हैं तो वो प्रोविजन आ रहे हैं इससे पहले क्योंकि ये तो बाद की बात है कि आप कंपेंसेशन और अपने रिड्रेसल के लिए जा रहे हैं मेरी सलाह तो ये है कि सबसे पहले आप ये फेक प्रोडक्ट के शिकार हो क्यों रहे हैं इसका मतलब आप कहीं ना कहीं जैसे कि हमारे वो एडवोकेट साहब ने भी कहा कहीं ना कहीं आप भी चूक रहे हैं उसको आइडेंटिफाई करने में और उसमें केयर करने में आप अगर फेक कह रहे हैं एक प्रोडक्ट को तो पहले आपको ओरिजिनल से परिचित होना पड़ेगा ना पूरी तरह से कि ओरिजिनल में क्या फीचर्स हैं वो कैसे पहचाना जाता है तो आपको फेक तुरंत पता लग जाना चाहिए कहीं ना कहीं 80-90 परसेंट केसेस में अगर आपको फेक की पूरी ओरिजिनल की पूरी जानकारी है और आपने यूज किया है या उसको देखा है तो फेक देखने से पता लग जाता है पर अगर बहुत ही सोफिस्टिकेटेड तरीके से फेस बनाया फेक बनाया गया है तो उसके लिए आपको पहले से वेंडर की जानकारी वेंडर के क्रेडेंशियल्स की जानकारी उसकी रिटर्न पॉलिसी और जो प्लेटफॉर्म है उसकी क्रेडेंशियल्स क्या है उसकी अपनी पॉलिसी क्या है कंपेंसेट कराने की अगर ये सारी चीज़ें आपने चेक करके अपने को एक जागरूक ग्राहक के रूप में प्रेजेंट किया है तो मुझे लगता है आपकी प्रॉब्लम होनी ही नहीं चाहिए क्योंकि हमारे एक्सपर्ट्स ने जैसे कि बताया कि आप जब कंपेंसेशन के लिए या रिड्रेसल के लिए जाएंगे लीगल रिकॉर्स में तो आपका प्रोडक्ट तो है पाँच सौ का आपका खर्चा हो जाएगा ज़्यादा टाइम लगेगा ज़्यादा कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट 2019 में ये उन्होंने रूल्स नोटिफाई करे हैं ड्राफ्ट ई कॉमर्स रूल्स उसमें एक सबसे जरूरी रूल ये है कि हर एग्रीगेटर को फैसिलिटेटर को एक डिक्लेरेशन देनी पड़ेगी और वो डिक्लेरेशन उसकी वेबसाइट पे मिलेगी आपको क्या उसकी लीगल एंटिटी है क्या उसका एड्रेस है कौन उसके डायरेक्टर्स हैं क्या प्रोडक्ट्स वो बेच रहे हैं और उसके बाकी तमाम एक फॉर्मेट है जो फिल करके हर ई कॉमर्स साइट को डिक्लेयर करना पड़ेगा जो आम आदमी को दिखाई देगा तो आप जो आप कह रहे थे कि भाई नई साइट आ जाएगी ऐसा नहीं होगा आने वाले समय में आप वही साइट सब बेच पाएंगी जिन्होंने ये डिक्लेरेशन गवर्नमेंट को दिया हुआ है और उसके डिक्लेरेशन की कॉपी होगी आपको चेक करने के लिए जरा सी गड़बड़ हुई आप शिकायत कर सकते हो उसकी रजिस्ट्रेशन कैंसिल हो जाएगी सर लेकिन एक क्वेश्चन ये है कि अगर सेलर की इफ ऑल द डिटेल्स आर पब्लिश ऑल्सो ऑन द वेबसाइट टू वॉट एक्सटेंट विल इट कर्ब काउंट फीड प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम बींग सोल्ड इट विल एटलीस्ट अवॉइड दो आर इन दैबिट ऑफ सेलिंग फेक प्रोडक्ट्स टू क्रिएट न्यू वेबसाइट to full consumers because if you create a new website you will still have to file a declaration before you are allowed to sell on it aur aap uske bina karoge to aapki prosecution hogi to ek ankush ek tarah ka aa gaya hai is is kanoon mein china okay. has a very strict law about these provisions for punishing those websites which are repeatedly cheating the consumers see besides the punishment for one particular product they have a huge punishment provision up to 5 million or even more 50 million uh, uh, fine on the website on the marketplace <coughs> for one product so naturally marketplace has to be very careful because they can attract that kind of a heavy penalty so i mean you can't close the website you can't order the you know like uh, dissolution of the website but you can always put huge penalties so that they are more careful and when i was using you know saying about the technology these websites and marketplaces have started using these technologies what they are doing is when they are entering into a contract or an agreement with the vendor they are and they know that the vendor has to supply the original product because they are careful from the vendor also because vendors also are used to supplying mixing the products see they don't supply all the fakes so in 10 original they will put two fakes one fake so that is the tendency with the vendor i mean that is what is has been reported i can't mm-hmm. say uh, with formally 
there are surveys which so are there are there are scanners and they are not very costly scanners these scanners are applied and each and every product passes through that scanner the scanner has the you know capacity to even just match those missing and important links in the emblem or in the logo or somewhere so that they immediately take out the fake products and those fakes are out hmm. what the e-tailers say sir that they have stringent policies in place to check that you know their platform is not used for fake products but we keep hearing in the news as well every now, now and then that big sites amazon flipkart which most of us very frequently use is and what action they take on these third party sellers is they just blacklist them remove them but is that enough these companies have been repeatedly you know been uh, told and their survival also depends on their basically uh, you know complying with these rules and their own uh, uh, you know regulations hmm. if they don't comply with and become uh, you know infamous for these kind of things naturally they themselves will get you know like closed True. so they they are also careful there is a provision that whenever they enter into a vendorship agreement with anybody they have to inspect the unit they have to look at the background of the manufacturers credentials of the suppliers all these checks are being done by the yeah and now as mr khanna pointed out they must publish yes. it also on the website and if they apply technology also that will be further you know mm. like strengthening the whole process of selection but obviously this is going to take yeah. a lot of time yeah. as well anybody else in the audience yeah hello Uh, second row good afternoon sir thank you so much for having this in, uh, interactive panel so uh, myself vibhor sharma i'm a student of advertising and public relations at the indian institute of mass communication so uh, what i can feel at this very issue the core is of trust whether we are consumer or it's the end point aggregator or the brand ultimately what is happening is our trust in that brand is losing so when the trust loses we don't feel like ordering or doing any kind of trans transaction from that brand and like we've been seeing that these brands have recently brought under scrutiny but they kind of shush away the whole problem they are not themselves addressing that problem head on so is it possible or would you advise from that brands or from these aggregators point of view that they start coming up with some campaigns or some advertisements or partnering up with influencers and address this issue from themselves from their sides so that it's like a parent saying or a friend saying ki i know your problem hai i know but tum mujh tak aao seedha rather than because <coughs> these uh, consumers are trying ki consumer redress consumer redressal forum hai and everything is there but process mein kahin na kahin ek trust lose ho jata mm -hmm. hai so is there some way that they can come up with some initiatives dekho aap ye samjho kaun ye karta hai wo karta hai jo beimaane se paisa kamana chahta hai asli baat ye hai to aap beimaan ko bol rahe ho ki tum trust banao wo banayega isliye ki aapke sath aur badi beimaani kar le इसलिए आप ये समझ लो कि ऐसे लोग बाजार में बैठे हैं जो बेईमानी से पैसा आपका अपनी जेब में ट्रांसफर करना चाहते हैं कैसे बचोगे ये आपके ऊपर है कोई बचाने वाला नहीं है आप गवर्नमेंट के भरोसे या कचहरी के भरोसे रह जाओगे तो भैया मैं आपसे सिंपथाइज ही कर सकता हूँ बोले आई एम सॉरी बट यू शुड है मोर केयरफुल मेरा आपको ये एडवाइस है कि आप स्मार्ट कंज्यूमर बनिए और अपने अधिकारों की स्वयं रक्षा करिए कंज्यूमर एसोसिएशन के साथ जुड़ के आवाज़ बुलंद करिए और जो गड़बड़ करते हैं उनको एक्सपोज करिए वेबसाइट पे जाके अपने फेसबुक पे अपने मित्रों के थ्रू इंस्टाग्राम पे सोशल मीडिया पे उनको बेगन बेनकाब करिए ये कंपनी बेईमान है इसने ऐसा किया है और दस लोगों से और करवाइए दीज ब्रांड्स द ओरिजिनल प्रोडक्ट्स मैन्युफैक्चरर्स एंड सेलर्स हैव ऑल्सो द रोल एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू प्रोटेक्ट द कंज्यूमर्स अगेंस्ट द फेक यू नो प्रोडक्ट्स दी एज फार एज आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज दैट दीज ओरिजिनल मैनुफैक्चरर्स ओ ई मैनुफैक्चरर्स दो they are not by and large they are not uh, interested in you know spreading of the fake product they are not using the fake products basically it is the other manufacturers those who are copying their products mm. and selling it at a cheaper price so uh, these manufacturers these original brand manufacturers as you were asking almost all of them all famous brands whether you are taking one name i, I can take 10 20 names all these have appointed the patent protectionists companies and they regular you know sir, regular basis the surveys are being done by their agents and by their companies those have been appointed to protect their brands it is not that they are not interested they are also doing it sometimes you know what happens is these do not come into the you know notice of the uh, people who are 
or maybe they also become careless no, because they're surprising sir yes. in that case because if if, if they are keeping a watch yeah. and despite that you know several of us buy products luxury brand products online and then one day you read in the newspapers that you know those brands are claiming we do not uh, sell our products online That's it's a I huge shock for us if the consumer is careful there will be some lacuna in the fake products which he can identify there will be some spelling change some color change some logo change some something which is different which differentiates a fake product from the original product and that is how they take advantage that our product is different our spelling is different our logo is different our you know like color is different our this is different so that is how it protects them okay. so if you are if you are careful you can identify in the front <coughs> office sir hamare desh mein already bahut sare kanoon hai that if someone have cheated you you go to police station lodge the fir or go to consumer redressal form to compensate but at both places onus comes on me to prove every fact that i have been cheated this is the problem your honor this is the problem sir we need some guidelines we need some mandatory direction to to the online portals that if they will sell any product which is fake their license will be cancelled action mr kumar was pointing the out is needed, hmm. sure. time has come because ek 300 rupees ki bottle ke liye koi aadmi police station nahi jayega sir absolutely 300 rupees ki bottle ke liye consumer redressal form nahi jayega sir theek hai bilkul theek hai hello everyone so my question is uh, actually the main issue that the consumer faces is when they get a defective product and they want other people not to suffer with the same thing so the basic thing a layman will do is to call the customer care service yeah. so the biggest problem that i personally have faced is to reach them when we call them most of the time we have to wait for half an hour to just so that they can take the call and ask us what's the problem so when we tell them the problem about a particular product because as a responsible citizen i don't want that the other person should also face the same thing so we tell them that this product is not good and you should take down the product from your uh, particular website so that other people should not face the same thing <coughs> so they always say that okay ma'am we'll do our uh, necessary action that we have to take so my main question is that do they really take any action do they because i personally have bought few skin products uh, from various websites and they were not that good when i used them so i complained about it and they they assured me that they won't uh that they will take a uh, necessary action against the manufacturers or they'll take down the product but after few months i saw the same products being shown on that particular website so is there any uh, ways so that we can see that a necessary action has been taken against the, those particular manufacturers every company today first focus on the social media they have a facebook page they have a twitter handle they have mm. insta and everything so you can just go to their handle and post it and see result will come आपको इतनी आवाज बुलंद करने पड़ेगी 100, 200, 300, 400 सौ लोगों को इकट्ठा करके उनके अपने अकाउंट से सोशल मीडिया पर जाओगे और वो उनको लगेगा कि भैया ये एक आदमी नहीं है ये कई आदमी है तो वो आपकी बात ज्यादा सुनेंगे ठीक है और अगर ये नहीं कर पा रहे हो आप तो किसी संस्था के साथ जुड़ जाइए जो इस काम में लगी हुई है क्योंकि जो ये संस्थाएं हैं ये भी आपके बीच में से आएंगी ये कोई सरकार नहीं बनाएगी एग्जैक्टली एंड ऑल ऑफ अस यंगस्टर्स हियर वी यूज सोशल मीडिया वी नो हाउ द इंटरनेट वर्क्स सो लेट्स फॉलो व्हाट ही सेज एंड यू नो मे बी दैट सॉल्व्स आवर प्रॉब्लम टू सम एक्सटेंड वन फाइनल राउंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऊपर से नहीं लिया है आप बोलिए माय क्वेश्चन इज दैट एज वी आर अ सिटीजन सो वी मस्ट हैव सम रिस्पांसिबिलिटी दैट वी मस्ट बी डिजिटली लिटरेट तो डिजिटल लिटरेसी एंड द मीडिया लिटरेसी मतलब कि हम लोग अगर देखें तो अगर आसानी से अगर कोई फेक पोर्टल या फिर कोई फेक वेबसाइट है तो उसको हम लोग आसानी से जज कर सकते हैं कुछ क्योंकि जो ओरिजिनल वेबसाइट है और ओरिजिनल प्रोडक्ट है उसको आसानी से देखा जा सकता है तो एक डिजिटल लिटरेसी की डिस्पोजिशन हम लोग में अंदर होनी चाहिए तो हाँ, काफी अच्छा सजेशन है वो या हाँ, और कोई सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट एड वन थिंग while we're actually talking about completely banning fake products i want to bring in a little different perspective so uh, some students actually have a limited budget and they actually want to buy fake products you know because they don't mind it but they will have a problem buying i mean it's not a problem if they buy fake shoes 
that much but they will have more of a problem if they buy fake makeup because that's actually not good for health so is there any provision to kind of selectively ban on a few products or what is the solution that we can come up with this like yeah, what is Kumar, the middle path i mean uh, there's no harm accepting that yes it's a copy it's not an original for those Maybe of aap, them who want to aapke two wheelers ke jitne hmm. spare parts hai na jab aap repair karana jaate ho to wo kehta hai ji aapko original chahiye ya <laughs> duplicate duplicate ka price batata hai वो आधे प्राइस में मिल रहा है आप कैसे जी डुप्लीकेट डाल दो और आपका स्कूटर और मोटरसाइकिल चलता है सो दिस इज हैपनिंग इन सम इंडस्ट्रीज एंड इट इज नॉट दैट दे आर रियली फेक दे वर्क बट दे मे नॉट बी एज ड्यूरेबल एज इफेक्टिव एज द ओरिजिनल वन व्हाट डू यू कंसीडर इट एज ए फेक वी कंसीडर ए प्रोडक्ट फेक व्हेन यू आर पेइंग फॉर द ओरिजिनल प्राइस देन इट इज अ फेक If the original price is five thousand rupees and you are paying four thousand nine hundred rupees, getting a hundred rupees discount, becoming very happy that you have purchased it at a very good bargain, yes, I then think you are we being all cheated. fall for heavy discounts. But if you are paying, you know that you are paying thousand rupees for a product of five thousand rupees. You know that it has a ninety percent chance of being, being duplicate. Mm. I would not say fake; it is a duplicate. So you have to accept it. Time, you know. Uh, <coughs> consumer buy the original product from the online and changes it with the fake product and sending it back to the uh, uh, to the online firm and this is like you know they are cheating the online firms hmm. so what are the legal remedy available to the baimani dono taraf hai ye nahi keh sakte ki jo fake bech raha hai wahi baimana hai hamare citizen mein bhi koi paisa banane ke liye aur kai aise logon ko e-commerce sites pe pakda bhi hai jinhone इस तरह की बेईमानी करके और उनको चीट करने की कोशिश केस एंड दे आर फाइट ओके ओके सो आई एम रनिंग आउट ऑफ टाइम लेट मी क्विकली टेक कंक्लूडिंग रिमार्क्स फ्रॉम ऑल आवर पैनलिस्ट बिकॉज वी ऑल डिस्कस द एक्सटेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम टू सम एक्सटेंट सम सॉल्यूशंस एज वेल बट इन फ्यूचर हाउ वी कैन कर्ब इट हार्डर एंड यू नो दे कैन बी अ मिडिल वे आउट एज टू सम फेक्स अवेलेबल बट ऑफ कोर्स विद एन ऑनेस्ट कैप्शन मिस्टर कुमार डू यू थिंक दैट्स वर्किंग आई वुड से दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द कंज्यूमर हैज टू बी केयरफुल the uh, platform has to be careful platform has to ensure and screen the products by use of technology or by inspections or by checking the vendors so both have to be careful and uh, legal action or maybe uh, uh, you know redressal mechanism is bit tardy mm-hmm. and it will take more time unnecessarily you don't enter into that try to be careful and you know prevent these kind of you know mishaps happening to you मुझे एक ही बात कहनी है वो ये है कि कुंभकर्ण की नींद से जागिए और जो जागृत ग्राहक बनिए और जिसका स्लोगन क्या है जागो ग्राहक यही है इसका रास्ता ओके मिस्टर तिवारी अभी फिलहाल जो हम सब डिस्कस कर रहे थे अभी फॉर एवरी लिटिल थिंग द ओनर्स इज ऑन कंज्यूमर एविडेंस प्रूव करना हो चीटिंग हो जो भी हो मतलब काफी चीजों में ओनर्स कंज्यूमर का है अब नए लॉ से उम्मीद है कि काफी कुछ चेंज होगा पर कोर्ट्स का क्या कुछ रोल इसमें बदलेगा क्या हम इसको कुछ फास्ट ट्रैक कर सकते हैं ताकि तीन सौ रुपए की चीज के लिए अगर वो लीगल रिकॉर्स ले भी पर उसको उतना हैवी कॉस्ट ना पे करना पड़े और सब कुछ जल्दी हो जाए देखिए डिफिशंसी आपको प्रूव करनी है और कैसे हमारी प्रोसेस फास्ट हो जाए उसके लिए आपको ही जागरूक होना है जैसे शर्मा जी ने बोला है और चूंकि दूसरी पार्टी को भी हमें सुनना है वो प्रॉपरली हमारे सामने आते नहीं आते इसका भी आपको ज्ञान होना चाहिए अगर वो नहीं आ रहे हैं तो आपके पास रेमेडी होना चाहिए कि इनके जो स्टेज हम कैसे बंद करवाएं ताकि मैं आगे बढ़ सकूँ तो अल्टीमेटली ये जब तक कंज्यूमर अवेयर नहीं है अपने राइट्स के लिए तब तक हमारे पास से आपको रिलीफ नहीं मिल पाएगा सी द क्वेश्चन इज दैट वी आर इन अ फेज ऑफ सोशल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एज फार एज कंज्यूमर लॉज आर कंसर्न द ओनली क्रैक्स आउट ऑफ द डिस्कशन इज दैट यू नीड टू हैव एक्सपर्ट एडवाइस बिफोर यू गो टू अ फोरा यू नीड टू हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द लॉज द रिटर्न पॉलिसी द एग्रीगेटर्स द वेबसाइट फ्रॉम विच यू आर बाइंग द प्रोडक्ट वेदर इट इज फेक वेदर इट इज जेनवन यू हैव टू बी अवेयर initially when you will be aware then only you will be able to redress your problem it is not a question of a 300 product or a 30000 product it is a question of who is buying that product hmm. and what kind of redressal is he seeking we have seen cases people coming to the court for 5 rupees one person uh, came to the court for charging 2 rupees excess in a toll tax so these kind of people also come to the court yes because when they the trust is eroded you want it is, to it is take only it to that the how you want to erode this process how hmm. you want to evolve this process it is a social transformation and the reason that understanding this the government has tried to enact a new law 
to all include these social dynamics which were evolving. Hmm. So we have to be very aware that what we are actually looking for. We should not make it a fight that we get only 2000 compensation or a 5000 compensation. It is a matter of justice. We have to uh, exercise our rights. Exactly. So we have to be aware of And the aware battle against it. this uh, problem of counterfeit products must be fought together. So everybody, consumers, brands, uh, the e-tailers and of course the government at large must come together. The problem is huge, but of course we have to find solutions. The governments worldwide are uh, coming up with the... Uh, you know, new laws, uh, the Consumer Protection Act will be implemented very soon. And perhaps because it is aimed at, you know, looking at consumer interests first. So let's hope things will change. It will take time. The problem, of course, as we've said, is huge. It's, it's a mounting problem worldwide. And we have to wait and watch for solutions. So as Mr. Khanna pointed out, what we must do on our part is be smart consumers. And when we realize that we've been cheated, we must raise it up at the appropriate forum, whichever works best for us. So with that, I'll have to wrap up this edition of The Pulse this week. Thank you to all our panelists and to our wonderful audience for joining us on the discussion today. Uh, you can watch the program at 8 p.m. on Sunday. Just in case you miss the television broadcast, you can also watch it online on YouTube and Twitter. You can also send in your feedback and suggestions about our program.